It really is the wrong time to be germinating seeds because as you can see behind me, it is raining and it has been raining every day for the past two weeks. But if not now, when? So here we go. All you need is a container, ideally transparent. And these are all recycled. This one is from a, a burger casing, as you can tell. And then tissue paper. Doesn't matter if it's thin or thick. So just put that there. And then if you have a water spray, a spray bottle then you can use that but I'm just gonna sprinkle water over here and so you just want the tissue to be a little bit moist like this not that there's a lot of water dripping if it's dripping then that's too much so that's it what you want to see is make sure that um, there's no water spilling over when you do that and then what you're gonna do is get your basil seeds this is how mine looks like and they're pretty big enough, so... And what you do is just put them over. Make sure that there are gaps between every seed so that when they start to germinate, they won't um, get... the roots won't get tangled with each other. So for me, this is really therapeutic. If you get OC a little bit like I am, you could do them one by one. And yeah, you just want to make sure they're away from each other like that. And believe it or not, when you also put them on the side, uh, like this, you put them on the side there, they will also germinate properly. The seeds will cling on to the tissue paper. And they're gonna look great. So if you check my other videos, you'll see what it looks like once it's germinated and it's really really nice um, and encouraging once you see the roots uh, starting to form and the leaves starting to form. Don't get discouraged if all of them don't germinate. It's very easy to germinate them. For me, the tricky part has been the sunlight because a lot of edible plants will need uh, sunlight for their food. Even if you try to use um, root enhancers or vitamins for the plant. There's really no substitute for natural sunlight. So just in case you weren't able to see my video on urban gardening, I did uh, make a video and I, I showed on that video what the window looks like um, here in my home. There really is not enough land. Uh, actually, you want your plants to be facing north because, oh sorry, you want your plants to be facing south because south gets the most sunlight. And I've tried planting the garden right behind me is facing north. And trust me, when I did try to put some plants there, they all died, especially, or particularly the ones that require sunlight like basil or, but check this out. See, look at my citronella. They did not make it, they're all dead. And over here used to be, our rosemary and they're dead so i'm not kidding if you really plant or plant if you really plan to plant um, edible fruits or vegetables or herbs they will need loads of sun and even if it does look like there's sunlight here that's not enough you really have to make sure that they are facing south so just get your compass and look which bit of your uh, house or where you live condo uh, which bit is facing south. So that's it. You want your seeds to look like this. And by the way, if you think that I'm an expert, I am so far from being an expert. I actually only started this about six months ago. And I just never would have thought of myself as planting just because, you know, I, I did other things. So if this is your first time to plant or if you are thinking about planting go ahead and do it it really is simple um, it's fun as well and it's very rewarding when you see uh, your plants growing it gives you some form of some form of like satisfaction uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it well for me I'm just one person I don't have any uh, helpers at home so I do carry all the soil myself um, 
because I do urban gardening, I have to carry the pots upstairs. They're quite heavy, especially when it's filled with soil. So I'm a one-man team, but it really is very satisfying once you start eating your own, um, just your own fruits and vegetables. I did try to grow pechai and it worked, but it was too slow. Like it took like two months before I could harvest. Oh, no, not, not maybe three months before I could harvest. So. Um, I think for me, the quickest one that grows here so far is basil. So I'm sticking to basil. I did order some seeds for tarragon, marjoram, rosemary. If anyone knows how to germinate those seeds, please let me know. I don't know if I can do it the same way like this. They're really tiny. Um, try to Google search the seeds of like mint or tarragon. They almost look like hair strands that have been sliced into small bits. You almost won't see the seeds. So they look like dust. <laughs> I'm not sure how legit that is or if they will even germinate. So um, for those who are starting, I'm a beginner like you. And it really is so much fun. There, if you look at the seeds on the side, they're starting to form like this coating or this gel. And that's what you wanna see. I don't know what that is actually. I don't know what the, the coating is, but yeah. Go ahead and maximize the space even in your container and give it about, I would say five days or four to five days and then you'll start to see the leaves. <laughs> Exciting. And that's it. I might have overcrowded it a little bit, but that should be all right. So, oh, another important thing that I need, another important thing that I need to tell you is that your container should be sort of like airproof. So another thing I want to point out is to make sure that your container is sort of airtight um, because the idea there is to keep it moist inside. So. The tissue paper should have water in it. There's one time I used one of these clear containers and um, like the next day, the tissue is completely dry, especially when it's warm where you are. And then um, at first the seedlings were all right, but then that evening they died. Like all of them just got so dehydrated. So that's another important thing. This one is actually okay. It may seem like the air will seep out, but for some reason when I snap it close like that, it just um, seals. Uh, it just seals the container properly so no air goes inside so that's really important you want to make sure you lock in the moist so I've decided to finish all of these seeds so check it out this is the burger container and yeah you just put tissue here again put some water make sure it's like this and continue putting on the seeds here I may have said this before, but putting the seeds here is so therapeutic for me. I really find this so therapeutic. Just putting them one by one, I get to clear my mind for some reason. That's just, it's great. <laughs> it's really, really good. 
Okay, and that's done. It actually looks like watermelon or dragon fruit. <laughs> and up we go to the urban jungle. There is my rosemary and there you have my basil. They're starting to shape up. I'm glad that this already has four leaves because the other day there was only two. Um, kind of looked like that. I don't know if you can see, there's only two leaves there. But the ones here are looking great. 